Sugar Sean O'Malley, another TKO victory for his record. Now, this one was a little bit different. Obviously, Sugar Sean O'Malley was scheduled to fight Lewis Smolker. Um, Lewis Smolker had to pull out due to an undisclosed injury. So they found a lovely gentleman by the name of Chris Martino, who was not in the UFC, who had wonderful green hair to fight Sugar Sean O'Malley. Now, Sugar Sean O'Malley, of course, has wonderful coloured hair as well, which was, I guess, the only interesting thing about this matchup. Um, obviously... Chris Martino is kind of an unknown quantity because he's never fought in the UFC before. He does have a professional record. He was not just some bum off the street. Um, but Sugar Sean O'Malley, as expected, battered him. Uh, it was officially called a TKO at 4.33 of round number three, uh, but you could have made an argument for that being stopped in the second round. Um, fair play to Chris Martino for hanging in there, but if you ask me, Herb Dean probably should have stopped that fight a little bit earlier, considering the fact as well that this guy is on a higher level than he's been competing at and was outclassed in pretty much every way. So the question now comes after another victory by Sugar Sean O'Malley, another performance of the night bonus. I think that's his fifth now uh, in perhaps seven fights in the UFC, maybe six, maybe seven, something like that. Obviously came off the Contender Series. But now it's the conversation of him versus Cody Garbrandt has come up again. Now, Cody Garbrandt is ranked number fifth in the Bantamweight division. Dominic Cruz is ranked number ninth in the bantamweight division, and Sugar Sean O'Malley is not ranked in the bantamweight division at all, division at all. So, I mean, they can fight because we've seen things like before, unranked people against sort of uh, you know, rank number four and fives, and they've jumped straight up there. You think of like Martin Vittori. Um, when he fought recently, he jumped straight up the, the middleweight rankings and then got himself a title shot. So it isn't impossible to completely skip the whole division and jump to sort of into the top 10 or into the top five with just one fight. It's just the fact that the UFC have been quite good at managing Sugar Sean O'Malley, aside from obviously the little mishap he had with Chito Vera. Um, they, they've kind of trying to gauge where he's at and bring him on that journey and not rush him because they think they've got a star on their hands and that's probably the best thing to do. Um, obviously, they sped it up, he lost, and now they're slowing it down again. So people like Lewis Smolker, now obviously he didn't end up fighting him, but you see what I mean. So do I think they will give him Cody Garbrandt next? No. Do I think Sean O'Malley can beat Cody Garbrandt? Yes. But Cody Garbrandt's very dangerous. He has one-punch knockout power, and if it goes wrong... Your golden boy has now lost two in his last three or four, depending on how long ago his fight was. Haven't got it up here. So I think it's a risk to do that fight. I would be more inclined to do the Dominic Cruz fight because it's highly unlikely that Dominic Cruz is going to knock out or seriously injure Sugar Sean O'Malley. He might beat him by decision, but he's not going to knock him out. Plus, no respect to Dominic Cruz, I think his best days are a little bit behind him. So... If you're going to pick one or the other, I'd be picking Dominic Cruz and not Cody Garbrandt. I don't think the UFC for his next fight will pick either, if I'm being perfectly honest. I think he might fight Lewis Smolker again, or he might fight someone else on that level or of that ilk. And then we'll probably see the fight against Dominic Cruz or Cody Garbrandt. If you held a gun to my head, I'd probably say he fights someone else before those two then it would be Dominic Cruz then it'd be Cody Garbrandt and I understand that Cody's coming this way and Sean's going that way but he's still more dangerous than Dominic Cruz and I do think that the UFC is not in a rush with that bantamweight division and they're not in a rush with Sean O'Malley but another fantastic performance from Sean O'Malley I love watching him fight He's interesting. He's a bit weird. Sometimes he says stuff he shouldn't. He's got funny hair. He's got a good fighting style. And above all else, he's just an interesting person to watch fight and watch talk and watch move and act. Um, and that's something that a lot of other stars or potential stars are missing, is that when they're not in the cage, you don't really hear from them. You don't know what they're doing. Whereas when it comes to Sean O'Malley, you see him on YouTube. He's got a podcast. He's putting himself out there. You know, it's... He's learning well from people that have gone before him. And you even heard him talking about how um, he does take some things from Conor McGregor. And I understand that, but Conor kind of paved the way. And you saw people start to copy Chael Sonnen after Chael sort of ducked out. And now you're sort of seeing people kind of copy Conor. And there will be another way to do it. 
there will be another blueprint, there will be another way. And you see flashes of people that come in and kind of have a little shtick or a gimmick and, and I get on, I get on board, I get involved and I want to see these people fight. But yeah, another impressive victory for, for Sugar Sean. Um, and I think the UFC will take their time with him. But if they don't, then Dominic Cruz for me.